across the nation express their sympathy. Members of the Mobile community are doing the same. Some commenting that the tragedy in Las Vegas cuts especially deep coming off our own outdoor music festival. News 5's Haley Minogue spoke with law enforcement, business owners, and concert goers. Haley, the responses were very similar from everyone you talked to, really. Yes, Roseanne, absolutely. You didn't even have to talk to these people, really ask them anything. As soon as they heard me mention the word Las Vegas, you could just see the heartbreak creep across their faces. And now with 1065 fresh off of the weekend, it's it's easy to see that this tragedy, though it happened hundreds of miles away, has really began to resonate in the Mobile community. As crews in Mobile worked on tearing down the stages from 1065, the scene seems to stand still in Las Vegas after a gunman shot and killed dozens of concert goers. I was still up this morning at 3 cleaning up from last night and saw that it, saw that pop up uh, on the news and man, heart, you know, thoughts and prayers go out to those guys. It's, uh, it's a terrible thing. Law enforcement officials ask themselves, how can we protect our community from a mass shooting? All cities are vulnerable to this type of stuff. You just don't know these deranged individuals that do these type crimes. You don't know where they originate from. Sheriff Cochran says they'll evaluate their current plans, especially with Mobile's outdoor events. You certainly could not have brought that firepower into an indoor event, so yeah, I think you'll have an effect on uh, outdoor events. City police officers will do the same. I'm quite sure um, we'll take a, a bigger look um, at what we're doing. While community members ask themselves questions that don't seem to have clear answers, how can we prevent this from happening? It's just happening way too often. I don't know if there need to be uh, more guns in the hand of security personnel or less guns in the hands of the people in general. Mobile police also told us there were only seven arrests this past weekend, all seven of those nonviolent offenses. Reporting live in Mobile, I'm Haley Minogue. Back to you all.